Hello there and thanks for joining me again. My name is Tolusha Francis and I'll begin a series, um, series of teachings today for the rest of this month where I'll be talking about our thoughts, right? How we can get them out of our heads and get to that point that we want to get to, how we can achieve the results that we really want to achieve. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to begin with um, talking about capturing your thoughts. Okay, now there's a concept that I want to explain to us today, and it's that concept of how your mind travels, how your thoughts, all right, work with other things that that concern you. Okay, I'm going to begin with that um, concept of how what you think right forms the basis of how you feel and how you behave okay a lot of times we don't we don't accept or understand that how we think right affects how we behave so there is a sequence your thought right produces your feelings and then your feelings produce your behavior and then your behaviors produce a decision right and when you begin to look at all that you realize that sorry your your thoughts right your thoughts give birth to your feelings then your feelings give birth to your emotions right now your emotions give birth to a decision now your decisions give birth to your behavior right in my own framework i call it problem thinking problem feeling and problem behavior now the way you think or what you think about something automatically translates into how you relate with into what you feel about that thing so for example if i think that someone doesn't like me right it's going to translate to how i would feel concerning that person or any situation i find myself and as soon as that translates into that feeling it also automatically translate into my decision as regards how i want to behave to that person and as soon as all these begin to translate then we find ourselves in that position where we begin to act based on how we feel right but i see the major thing is you can't begin to treat symptoms you can't begin to address symptoms whenever anything is wrong what probably be see will be symptoms but you can't continue to treat symptoms. You must go back to the root, right? You must go back to the root and begin to treat the root, begin to handle issues from the root. And handling issues from the root comes back to the issue of handling or dealing with our thoughts. So I, 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 I call these capturing your thoughts, you know, like you have those thoughts flying around your head, okay? But you know that you own yourself or you owe yourself to bring the thought together right so imagine something is flying and then you grab that thing like this so it's more or less like saying you my thoughts come right stay put now you're putting that thought together all right and you are examining the thought okay so you are thinking of what benefit is this thought to me of what good or what use is this thought to me right you're paying attention to your thoughts and you are focusing on your thoughts now you're focusing on your thoughts not because you want to act on them but because you want to question the thoughts now for you to generate helpful thoughts you must bring every thought that comes your mind right into subjectivity you must subject it to scrutiny you must subject those thoughts to thought themselves now how this happens is also that you ask yourself this thought that I have, is it valuable to me? Will this thought help me to be a better person? Will it help me to achieve my goals? Or is it going to hinder me from doing the things I want to do? So you begin to ask yourself, this thought that I have, is this thought helpful? Is it going to make me a better person? Or is it going to complicate whatever situation I found myself? So when you begin to scrutinize every single thought that comes your way, you're able to decide what thought is helpful, what thought isn't. And you see, we need this in our day-to-day -day life. We need this in every circle of life. We need to come to that point where we bring every thought under subjectivity. So when you capture the thought, right, then you sit down, 
and find out if this thought is helpful. Now, if the thought is helpful, then because you know that every thought is going to decide, right? Every thought will decide your decision. Every thought will decide what you're going to do or how you're going to approach issues. So you cannot afford to handle any thought with levity. All right. And so the moment you begin to operate that way, so anything that is flying across your head, you grab that thought and begin to question it. Now, because as you question the thoughts, you're also able to approach it from a clear perspective and you do not allow your feelings to, to become, become a foothold, right, towards you achieving great things. So, what I've tried to do is to let you understand that everything that happens to you, every feeling that you have stems from your thoughts. And so don't start running around trying to deal with the feelings. Go back and ask yourself, why exactly am I think feeling this way? And then be begin to trace why you are feeling that way to what your thoughts are. All right, whatever your thoughts are is the reason why you are feeling the way you are feeling. All right, so I hope that you would go back. All right, so take a piece of paper or take your journal. List out every feeling that you have. All right, and ask yourself why exactly you are feeling that way. Now begin to trace each of those feelings to a kind of thought. Okay, so you feel sad. All right, I begin to ask yourself why do I feel sad? Are there things that you think about somewhere about a situation that each time you think about that, sadness comes upon you? So begin to think about that. And then so you begin to separate your feelings from your thoughts. Are they able to align the thoughts? So you know this thing that we that, that we do in is it verbal or quantitative reason I can't remember now, where you match your thoughts with your feelings. So that's what I want you to do, right? Pick up your journal or your notebook, write down how you feel about everything write down your thoughts about those feelings i mean you have to decide go back to the root and find out why you're feeling that way link it to a particular thought and i was able to do that and now ask yourself this thought is it helping this feeling and is this feeling helping me now once you're able to identify the unhelpful thought the next stage will be what exactly do i do with this thought and that's what i'm going to talk about in the next episode when i come your way again but you must do this consistently so for the next one week right ensure that for every for every feeling that comes your way you think about the thought that is the origin of that feeling and then begin to note them down and so when i come your way again in the next episode i'll be sharing with you how to remove on all some thoughts right and make them beneficial to you how you can separate yourself from those unwholesome thoughts or unhelpful thoughts and begin to inhabit good thoughts and those thoughts that would help your feeling again like i said it's a change so your thought right decides your feeling which is your emotions and your emotion decides your decision and then your decision your behavior and so you take it backwards again you realize that your thought is the root of every symptom that you that you that you that you uh, that you're ex experiencing and so each time you are behaving in a certain way the root is your thought not the way you feel and so till i come your way again next time do not forget subscribe on apple subscribe on youtube and i hope that you find this worth it thank you for joining me bye for now